Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Mind Gear. You see these opening logos every time you go to the movies, but have you ever wondered who is the boy on the moon in the DreamWorks logo? Or which mountain inspired the Paramount logo? Or who is the Columbia Torch Lady? Let's find out. Number 6. Columbia Pictures, The Torch Lady. Columbia Pictures was founded in 1919 by the brothers Harry and Jack Cohn and Joe Brandt as Cohn Brandt Cohn Film Sales. Many of the studio's early productions were low-budget affairs, so it got nicknamed Corned Beef and Cabbage. In 1924, the brothers Cohn bought out Brandt and renamed their studio Columbia Pictures Corporation in effort to improve its image. The studio's logo is Columbia, the female personification of America. It was designed in 1924, and the identity of the Torch Lady model is never conclusively determined. In her 1962 autobiography, Bette Davis claimed that Claudia Dell was the model, whereas in 1987 People magazine named model and Columbia bit actress Amelia Bachelor as the girl. In 2001, the Chicago Sun-Times named a local woman who worked as an extra at Columbia named Jane Bartholomew as the model. Given how the logo has changed over the years, it may just be that all three were right. The current Torch Lady logo was designed in 1993 by Michael J. Dees, who was commissioned by Sony Pictures Entertainment to return the lady to her classic look. Number 5. Warner Bros. Warner Bros. Yes, that's legally bros. Not Brothers was founded by four Jewish brothers who emigrated from Poland, Harry, Albert, Sam, and Jack Warner. Actually, those aren't the names that they were born with. Harry was born Hearse, Albert was Aaron, Sam was Small, and Jack was Itzak. Their original surname is also unknown, some people said that it is Wansel, Wanskalaser or even a Chelbaum, before it was changed to Warner. In the beginning, Warner Bros. had trouble attracting top talents. In 1925, at the urging of Sam, Warner Bros made the first feature-length talking pictures when he heard of Sam's idea. Harry famously said who the hell wants to hear actors talk, that got the ball rolling for the studio and made Warner Bros. famous. Number 4. Paramount Pictures. Paramount Pictures Corporation was founded in 1912 as Famous Players Film Company by Adolf Zucker and the theater moguls the Froman brothers, Daniel and Charles. The Paramount Majestic Mountain logo was first drawn as a doodle by W. W. Hodkinson during a meeting with Zucker, based on the Ben Lomond Mountain from his childhood in Utah. It is the oldest surviving Hollywood film logo. The original logo has 24 stars, which symbolized Paramount's then 24 contracted movie stars, it's now 22 stars, though no one could tell me why they reduced the number of stars. The original matte painting has also been replaced with a computer-generated mountain and stars. Number 3. 20th Century Fox, The Searchlight Logo. In 1935, 20th Century Pictures and Fox Film Company, back then mainly a theater chain company, merged to create 20th Century Fox Film Corporation. The original 20th Century Pictures logo was created in 1933 by famed landscape artist Emil Cosa Jr. After the merger, Cosa simply replaced Pictures Incorporated with Fox to make the current logo. Besides this logo, Cosa was also famous for his matte painting of the Statue of Liberty Ruin at the end of the Planet of the Apes, 1968, movie, and others. Perhaps just as famous as the logo is the 20th Century Fanfare, composed by Alfred Newman, then musical director for United Artists. Number 2. Metro Goldwyn Mayer. In 1924, studio publicist Howard Dietz designed a Leo the Lion logo for Samuel Goldwyn's Goldwyn Picture Corporation. He based it on the athletic team of his alma mater, Columbia University, the Lions. When Goldwyn Pictures merged with Metro Pictures Corporation and Louis B. Mayer Pictures, the newly formed MGM retained the logo. Since then, there have been five Lions playing the role of Leo the Lion. The first was Slats who graced the openings of MGM silent films from 1924 to 1928. The next lion, Jackie, was the first MGM lion whose roar was heard by the audience. Though the movies were silent, Jackie's famous growl roar growl sequence was played over the phonograph as the logo appeared on screen. He was also the first lion to appear in Technicolor in 1932. 
the third lion and probably most famous was Tanner, though at the time Jackie was still used concurrently for MGM's black and white films. After a brief use of an unnamed fourth lion, MGM settled on Leo, which the studio has used since 1957. Number 1. DreamWorks SKG, Boy on the Moon. In 1994, director Steven Spielberg, Disney Studio chairman Jeffrey Katzenberg, and record producer David Gaffin got together to found a new studio called DreamWorks. Spielberg wanted the logo for DreamWorks to be reminiscent of Hollywood's golden age. The logo was to be a computer-generated image of a man on the moon fishing, but visual effects supervisor Dennis Murin suggested that a hand-painted logo might look better. Murin asked his friend, artist Robert Hunt to paint it. Hunt also sent along an alternative version of the logo, which included a young boy on a crescent moon fishing. Spielberg liked this version better, and the rest is history. Oh. And that boy. It was Hunt's son.